Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel and this is Boba Fett's Blaster. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. Thanks for being here. That intro probably sounded pretty muffled. I don't know what it sounds like uh, underneath the helmet. I'll get a voice changer uh, eventually, but uh, haven't got around to that now because still, all I still haven't got a helmet, right? <laughs> so if you don't know, uh, I've been working with Boba Maker and uh, paying off my armor, right? We've been doing the installment plan. And so he's got my whole order doing, doing all the armor, including the helmet, uh, everything pretty much except the jet pack, which I have, but I need to get someone to glue it together and paint it for me. But in the meantime, I've been getting some of the parts that I can get. And so I recently purchased the blaster and it came to me in the mail the other day and I want to show it to you. So this is it. This is the ROTJ, right? The Return of the Jedi Boba Fett blaster. I got this from Imperial Arms and it was about 200 bucks, 200 bucks. And so, yes, I know it's not painted correctly. So I don't, uh, I don't need to hear that, but <laughs> this is how it came in the mail. All right. This is how it came in the mail. So I'm showing you what you get. Um, if you look at the screen use prop, Boba Fett's gun is really kind of like a hodgepodge mashup of like a dull silver and a copper, like just kind of all over the place, right? No rhyme or reason. But, uh, this came in a base black with some silver, uh, peeking through kind of looks more like it was painted to look like a stormtrooper rifle stormtrooper rifles kind of have this same paint job but not not boba fett's um really impressed so overall right it's a resin cast obviously it's even got the big missing portion right there and it's got a little uh hole there in case you want to put a cap it also has a lens on the front and back of the scope kind of add some authenticity. And uh, I had them put a dowel inside of this to give it a little bit of heft, right? A little bit of weight. So yeah, pretty stoked to now have the gun. And of course, I'll have to go through uh, painting it and I'll, I'll post some pictures uh, and a tutorial when I go to paint it, show you uh, how I did mine. If you have any tips on painting the blaster, uh, I would love to hear it. Obviously, I'm going for a ROTGA uh, uh, model. Uh, if you're gonna ask, no, of course, nothing moves, right? The trigger doesn't move, this lever doesn't move. This is just a resin cast, okay? So you're not gonna sit there. I know I'm tempted, right? You're tempted to pull the trigger and go pew pew, but <laughs> the trigger won't move. And uh, really, I think it's nice for a uh, FET to have to walk around with because then you're doing something with your hands. You know, I feel like if I didn't have the blaster to have my hands at my side and just kind of walk around, I think would feel strange. <laughs> it would look strange too. So you want to see, you want to see Fett like holding this, right? This is, this is, this is the, this is the iconic rifle. So, uh, totally stoked to have this. So yeah, Imperial Arms. Okay. Imperial Arms, 200 bucks. They have an Etsy store and, um, it really, it took months. It took several, several months to come in. Um, beyond the scope of what Etsy said and said, oh, you'll have it by a certain date. It was well beyond that. And so, I, you know, I, I've seen this now a couple times from other buyers. So they'll go purchase something and they'll say, oh, this prop master is terrible. You know, I gave them my money and I waited forever, never came, asked for a refund. Some of these prop masters are building stuff and they have a long waiting list and you just have to be patient. So it's not the prop master, you know, that's trying to rip you off. They're trying to give you a quality product. And so you got to just, you got to wait, right? <laughs> if you want it, you got to read the other reviews. That's my suggestion. Read the other reviews. They didn't rip anybody else off, right? They're not going to rip you off. So yeah, completed gun, completed gun. Well, before paint job, right? Yeah. And so if you have any questions at all about this, I will uh, be sure to answer if I can. And I'll put a link below for Imperial Arms in case you would like to purchase one for yourself. May the force be with you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.